All right, Gina. Gina and I have actually um, driven an electric vehicle uh, together twice. We did an electric truck and an electric bolt, um, and no one got hurt. She was behind the wheel, and, and uh, we made it out alive. So good. Um, so glad to be here. We are here because we are building a better America. That is exactly what the president is doing. That's what the vice president is doing. And the future is electric. We need to do four things. Number one, we have to get these charging stations out in every pocket of the country, particularly in areas where the private sector has not felt it was to their best advantage to go. So in, area, in rural areas, in poorer areas where we haven't seen a penetration of electric vehicles. We've got to get them everywhere. You all are going to get, Maryland is going to get $63 million of the $7.5 billion that the bipartisan infrastructure law, $63 million to be able to make sure they're in every pocket of Maryland. The second thing we have to do is make sure these electric vehicles are accessible to everyone. That means we have to bring down the price of them. How do we do that? Well, the next piece of legislation, that Build Back Better Act, is going to provide at the dealership a six thousand, excuse me, a six seven thousand five hundred dollar credit off the top of the car to bring it down to the price of a gas powered vehicle. That means that it will be affordable for people, right? So that's the second thing. The third thing we have to do is to make sure that we build out that entire supply chain, the electric vehicle supply chain here in the United States. And that means that the bipartisan infrastructure law, which is already passed, that law has put $7 billion into building out the guts to that electric vehicle, which is the electric vehicle battery. That battery now is, has been largely built in Asia. And we're, this president and this vice president has said, no, we are not going to stand by and allow that opportunity to miss us as a country. We're going to build those batteries in the United States. We're going to stamp them made in America. We're going to use them here. And we're going to export them around the world. So that's the third thing we have to do, is build out the supply chain and the jobs right here. And the fourth thing we have to do is to make sure that when these vehicles are plugged in, that the electricity that they're using is clean electricity. And so the president has a goal of getting to 100% clean electricity by 2035. Right? So honestly, I mean, I lease a Chevy Bolt myself. And I lease the solar panels that are on my garage. And that means that literally I am driving on sunshine. There is nothing better than that. Now, not everybody has the privilege of having a garage. And so that's why making these electric vehicle charging stations ubiquitous everywhere across the country is so critical. And that is what today is about. So we are so fortunate to have somebody at the helm of this who's here today, Madam Vice President, who has not just, this is not new for her, when she was the Attorney General of California, when she was a Senator from California, she was leading on electrifying the transportation sector. So it is not going to be uh, at all uh, difficult for her to be the champion of this. She brings a combination of a love for innovation, um, rolling up her sleeves, so some per perspiration to get it done, and a great amount of inspiration to this job and to this message. So it is a great privilege to introduce to you the woman who can and will get it done, Vice President Kamala Harris.